Later, Una briefs Pike about their past mission to Rigel 7, where they encountered the Kalar, and they had to evacuate due to complications and an ambush, leaving behind Starfleet insignias. So, in this, we got a reference to Menagerie and how they referenced Rigel 7. Right. So, we know Pike's yeoman was killed, because that's why there's that really sexist line about, I can't get used to a woman on the bridge. Accepting you, of course, number one. Right. His yeoman was dead, so the new yeoman took over. We also know they were headed to a star base to uh, resupply and drop off their wounded and get new crew members. Right. That was part of what they were doing. One of the other things, I don't know if you've ever come across this, in that episode, Spock has a limp. I have not, actually. Next time you watch the Menagerie or the Cage, keep an eye out. Spock limps throughout the episode. And you'll see people ask from time to time, why is Spock limping? Right. Because they decided that Leonard Nemo or like, Spock had probably been injured since he would have been one of the ground crew and he decided to walk with a limp. And then of course, one of the fantasies Pike is given by the Telosians was being attacked by a, t- a Kalar on Rigel seven. But of course he was different looking than the Kalar we're about to see. He was extra large, jagged teeth. Right. And Those so- were the premium edition Kalar. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the uh the Pokemon Evolution One series. Yeah. <laughs> Starfleet has discovered that the Kalar are using these insignias and a plan is made to make a covert mission to assess the situation and it, retrieve any left behind tech. I think if it's just insignia, I would have left it alone. 